it's time for five minute activation. Can I get five minutes of your time? Just five minutes for a little activation. Today's topic is five guidelines for life and retirement accounts. I'm going to talk to you about five things that I think can help you in life and in your retirement accounts. So number one is diversify. Number two, manage risk. Number three, emotions. Number four, stick to the plan. Number five, forget the Joneses. Let's break those down. Diversify and manage risk go together. So diversify your portfolio means have different asset classes, right? You don't want to have everything in there the same. You want to have a diversified portfolio so that when something is up, something else is down and vice versa. When things are down, that means everything is not down. Some things will be up. Well, in life, you want to diversify too. So my uncle Foster says, it's good to have friends in high and low places because your friends in low places or with low assets will have creativity that your friends with high assets just might not have. Does that make sense? I'm sure you know what I mean. Now let's go to manage risk. So when I say manage risk, you're probably thinking that I mean, um, be conservative, but I don't. I mean, know when to be conservative and when to be aggressive and when to be somewhere in between. Because based on what's happening in your life and in the world, you may need to be more aggressive, but maybe you need to be more conservative. And that is something that you need to know which one is the right time. But having a diversified portfolio helps you to mitigate that. So you don't have to worry about risk all the time. You just have a diversified portfolio. And a lot of times you are managing risk by doing that. Now, when it comes to managing risk in your life, sometimes you just kind of like set it and forget it, right? That's what you do in accounts, but that's also what sometimes what we do in life. Like we are living our parents' life. We just set it and forget it. Or we're living so the life that society said we should have. We have jobs we don't even like, friends we don't even know, right? We call them friends, but we don't even know them very well. Well, sometimes you've got to let go. Sometimes you've got to get new friends uh, and determine who is in your life really works, right? Or which assets really work in your life. And sometimes you've just got to let them go. That doesn't mean that you just do a big overhaul because you've had an emotional breakthrough, but more so on logic, logically, what doesn't fit into your life anymore. So you may need to let go of property, you know, things, material things, and you may need to adjust your plan. But from a logical standpoint, which brings me to number three and number four, I bring those kind of together too. So three is managing emotions. And if you're managing emotions, then you can see things from a logical point of view because when emotions are high, logic is low. And so if emotions are high and your logic is low, you're probably not making a very sound decision. And usually logic is low when the markets are low, right? <laughs> Why? Because everything is on sale. And since when is a sale bad? Never. <laughs> so when, when the market is low, you should continue your plan. So that's the fourth thing, stick to the plan. Because if you stick to your plan, then even though the markets are low, because that fluctuation should be baked into your plan. And if you stick to your plan, you can get what it is that you're trying to get to. But if you adjust the plan too soon, you may end up getting off course and never reaching your goal. And the same is true in retirement accounts, but also in life. Stick to your plan. Don't let one thing that happens to you change your whole day, right? Sometimes we have a bad moment and it makes us have a bad day. Or sometimes your spouse makes a mistake and it ruins your whole relationship. Well, you can't judge your partner by their behavior. Maybe they made a mistake, but they can get past that mistake and change and you can help them and you can accept them and you can forgive them. So you've got to let go of emotions sometimes and really look at the logic. In the, is this mistake that your partner made, if you looked at it from logic, is it really a deal breaker? Is it really groundbreaking or was it just hurtful? Many of the, um, successful marriages that I interviewed said that heartbreak is part of a marriage. It's part of life. You just have to be with someone who's worth it. And then that takes us to the last one. Number five, forget the Joneses because the Joneses don't exist. Well, actually you are the Joneses because just like you're trying to keep up with everybody, then everybody's trying to keep up with you. You buy a new car, they buy a new car, right? They, they, um, go on a vacation, you go on a vacation. You're, you're trying to keep up with them. They're trying to keep up with you. But in the grand scheme of things, we all just need to do what's best for us. 
And it doesn't matter what your parents did or your grandparents did or what your sister is doing. And even though it seems like maybe you have the same life, you really don't. So focus on what's right for your situation and do what's best for you. And that is our five minute activation for today. Now you might be saying, Kene, you're, you never talk about the numbers. Well, that's because you can get the numbers right. And if you don't get the mindset right, the numbers will go wrong. You've got to get your mindset right. And that is what financial therapy is all about getting your mindset right. So that's all for today. I hope you go to kanaecorder.com, kanaecorder.com and check out the Prosperity Club and let's stay in touch. I'll see you sooner.